Hello fellow mutants, welcome back to another video. In this video we're going to talk about how Christopher Nolan's Dark Knight Trilogy is set to hit theaters on Batman Day. Now I find that to be extremely amazing because like the Dark Knight Trilogy was the um, first Batman movie trilogy or franchise or whatever you want to call it. I've seen in theaters, like, Batman Begins was literally the first Batman movie I was able to see in theaters, so, like, there's some sort of sentimental value for me, with the first movie especially, um, some may even say the Dark Knight trilogy is the best trilogy ever, now that admittedly is, admittedly is subjective, because some might say the 90s Ninja Turtle trilogy is the best trilogy ever, some may say one of the three Star Wars uh, trilogies are, is the best trilogy. Some might say the Hobbit or Lord of the Rings trilogy is the best trilogy. So, like, my point is saying, oh, this is the best trilogy ever is totally subjective. <laughs> but I have to admit that the Dark Knight trilogy, in my humble opinion, is amongst the best trilogy. And, uh... <laughs> I so can't wait for it. Um, this to come back in theaters. Because I've seen all three movies in theaters and I've enjoyed it. So let's give this a read, shall we? Um, this also uh, reading this on Collider. Even though Christopher Nolan's Dark Knight trilogy ended over a decade ago, most comic book fans consider still consider the films to be some of the best of the genre. The realistic take on Batman was truly ahead of its time, and now for Batman Day this September, fans will revisit all three classics thanks to um, Showcase Cinemas. At your local um, showcase for one day only on September 16th, which I believe September 16th is a Sunday? Sorry, it's a Saturday. I just checked on my calendar. It's a Saturday. Um, you can see Batman Begins, Batman, I mean, Batman Begins, Dark Knight, and Dark Knight Rises on the big screen again. Again, on September 16th, which is a Saturday, is, um, by the time of this, uh, video will be in, in exactly two weeks from now. By the time this article, I mean, this video will be releasing. Um, while Batman and Robin almost killed the character on the big screen back in 1997, Nolan helped bring the Cape Crusader back to his roots. The character re-entered the shadows with each film in the famed director trilogy, feeling drastically different. With Batman Begins using villains like Ra's al Ghul and, and Scarecrow, Nolan reintroduced the character in an almost horror movie-like way. Gotham felt closer to Blade Runner bleak future than the bright neon streets of Joel Suskmore depiction. The use of the fear wolf, that complex origin story that amazingly set up the Dark Knight's escalation. Well, it's Heath Ledger's Joker, the dark consequences of Batman's action, or the crime thriller backdrop, the Dark Knight is a tragedy that remains timeless. Then, when you get to the Dark Knight Rises, and in the politics, no man land type of story, political no man lands type of story. Nolan's crafted one of the most ambiguous finales in Simna history. Now I admit I'll I'll say that Dark Knight Righteous is potentially the weakest of the three. But that's also not saying that much in my opinion. Guess I also think like Batman Begins, Dark Knight and Dark Knight Righteous are all good films. Sir, so I will like take in a few things and went a somewhat different path than The Dark Knight Rises, but The Dark Knight Rises is honestly my favorite of the three. I, uh, I don't like nowadays, like, especially when it comes to Disney, like, they have a tendency of, like, doing, oh, our heroes being defeated and somehow they get their hopes and their fi inner fire back to come back to the universe to help the good guys beat the conflict, right? But at the time of the Dark Knight Rises, 
I don't not like not many companies were doing that, right? In my op- opinion, in the superhero sci-fi front genre, right? So I do think that the whole like Batman kind of losing his confidence because the love of his life died, and him kind of like getting that inner fire back. But the time of the end of the movie, he does essentially live that life that Alfred wanted him to live. And in a way, he forgives himself for Rachel's death. Ooh, yes. I love that arc. And I love how, like, the arc that Bruce Wayne uh, goes on from the Batman Begins all the way to the Dark Knight Rises. I love it. And, like I said, I will argue that the Dark Knight trilogy is amongst the best of trilogies, period. Anyways, um, the one thing all three films of these masterpieces have in common, besides Nolan' brilliant direction, is Christian Bale's Batman. Say that, you, say what you will about his voice. Bale brought such a distinct emotional complexity to the role that made his version of the character feel more vulnerable when compared to the rest. This was a Batman who wanted to wanted a happy ending. I saw life beyond the cape and cowl. So what is Batman Day? It's a pop culture. In pop culture, there are few characters as recognizable as Batman. He has such a rich, um, rich almost 85 years history with a film catalog that can't be beat. That's why it's so great to see a film like the Dark Knight trilogy getting get celebrated in this way. Batman Day is an annual celebration of the iconic um, character that takes place on the third Saturday of September. As we get closer to the September 16th date, fans should expect more announcements for a Batman film re-release. Give that is like. It's the 30th anniversary of Batman's Masculine uh, Phantasm. It's, safe, it's a safe bet that that classic will will be part of the festivities. Um, and then this also tells you how you can get the tickets for the Dark Knight trilogy. Um, so. And that you can watch the Dark Knight trilogy if you like have Max, which was from the called HBO Max. That, or if you have that Dark Knight trilogy on DVD, but... I only have the Dark Knight on DVD. I want to get Batman Begins or Dark Knight Rises on DVD, so I can, like, watch it. Um, But it's a... I'm happy that the Dark Knight trilogy is getting, um... re-releases. Definitely amongst... my favorite trilogies and um if i'm in that position to on september 16th my ass will be in that theater all day all day but with that said what do you beautiful people have to say let me know in the comment section down below love you guys for a wonderful day be kind of one other i will talk to you fellow mutants later